Sorry I was late, you all. I was printing out this pop quiz for you. All right, you clear your desks. Hello, Deborah. Professor. <laughs> Professor Deborah Davis. I didn't know we had a pop quiz today. Me neither, but did you read the material for today? What material? It's the first day. It was on the syllabus and she even emailed us. Okay. Let's see. All right, for the quiz, I will be choosing people randomly to answer questions. By the way, point deductions start today. All right, first one on my roster, Eric Craig. All right, listen to the following statement. Jane and Alana walk to the mall if it is sunny. Now, what kind of statement is that, Mr. Craig? Rule number four. Please weigh your options carefully. Being dishonest almost never works in your favor. Think. I can just tell the truth and say I don't know. Or I can not tell the truth. What could be the worst that can happen? Sorry, Professor Dames. I just overrided into this class. So, uh... <laughs> I didn't get a chance to read. <laughs> or not. Maybe I can just guess the right answer. Particular? Nope. Universal? No. Voluptuous? Get out! Rule number five, the truth will always set you free. I'm so sorry, Professor Dames. I was so busy getting ready for the first day of school, I forgot to read. Huh, I think I have that same record at home. It's so worn, I can't play it anymore. Rule number six, Xavier professors can and will throw shade. Don't try them. As a forewarning for everyone else, if you don't plan on doing the reading in this class, you may as well drop it now because you won't be passing. Rule number seven, if your class is clearly too much to handle, drop it. Look, there's problems with philosophy class. Okay. Got it. Bye, guys. That was the last one. So what are we supposed to do now, Bianca? We gotta go get an override. No! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>